Actually, we're live in Infinity Waters. We've got Dr. Joel Pukra. It's really just an honor. Um, and, you know, what you're talking about really resonates with me because I'm looking how a child comes into this world. A lot of people say that their third eye is already open. Every child's third eye is open from the, the moment of birth. That's why they, they're almost seeing the, the immensity of life in itself, and they're so creative. And up until a certain point, um, you know, there's a kind of metamorphosis into this frog. You know, a lot of people become very sick. We talk of wellness becoming well, and a lot of people are almost juggling and really trying to figure that equation out. You know, how do I go back to being a child where there was no judgment and we were in our own authenticity? Because, you know, how is that uh, affecting, you know, the production of melanin in terms of the diet, the lifestyle a lot of people are, are living? Because if we talk about cycles, we realize uh, melatonin and serotonin play a big part in people's moods. And if we don't follow this uh, cycle and appreciate going to bed on time and being in darkness and also being in front of the sun, I mean, tell me what are some of the consequences if, if we don't follow that cycle? To, well, the know, first activate. thing is, right, well, yeah. see, the, what, see what you, the question that you've asked is, we were born into that cycle. So that the cycle is something naturally that is a part of us. The key is how did we get away from it? And it is because you accepted a calendar system as well as a machine to regulate your life by. And that machine is known as a chronometer. You have a huge one that hangs right there in London, Big Ben. And it's constantly dinging at, at every hour and those hands are going around telling you what you're supposed to be doing. Now, that has nothing to do with the biological cycles that you were born into. And so you make a choice every day to decide if you're going to allow this machine to tell you what to do or you're going to allow nature and the vacillation of the light frequencies to control your destiny. And so most people choose the clock. And for that, they set all of their biological cycles on an abnormal pathway that eventually causes them to die because it does not sustain the cycles upon which the body was created. So the person has to make a time. That's why we talk about the fact that for you to really be able to gain, regain your health, you have to accept that time is a cycle. It is not a machine. It is not a chronometer. And when you think about it, look at it. I mean, you're in competition with something that is not biological. Big Ben never has to urinate. It never has to defecate. It never has to have a meal. It never has to rest. It never has to cleanse itself. <laughs> it hasn't right, to deal yeah. with any of the biological phenomena that you are responsible for. So, of course, it can be perpetual and be the same all the time, et cetera. How are you going to ever keep up with anything like that and then be able to take care of your body? You can't because it doesn't have a body, and it just continues to tick. It's never, it doesn't have any needs to eat, to rest, to do any of that. So, therefore, how can you then inculcate all of these biological activities on a format that doesn't have any. You'll always lose, and you do. You die. You die. Mm. So, therefore, the key here is what are you going to do? Are you going to let a machine run you? You've been letting it happen for, you know, centuries, and look at all the grave marking. Or you're going to basically say that, no, my time is a cycle. Daytime, nighttime cycle. That's how I live. That's how I function so that I can be here just like a great oak tree, 500 years, just like a Bristol cone pine tree, pine tree. A Bristol cone pine tree lives for 5,000 years. Now, I had to have some conversations with these trees because I was like, I don't understand this. <laughs> okay, how yeah. can you live for 5,000 years here and I as a human being that can send satellites in the outer space, create space stations, bullet trains that travel at 500 miles an hour, and you do none of that. 
but you are able to stay here almost forever. And the trees, just like anything else, will talk to you. Everything is consciousness. And one of the things that the trees talked about to me was the fact that they accept that this is who they are to be here indefinitely. They have a direct role with the earth and the stars. There are conduits between other planets and other galaxies and planet Earth. They are the telephone system. They are the cable system. So they know they have to be here. So they accept that this is part of their quality. They don't hassle and wrestle with that. They also recognize that they were built to last. They don't doubt that. So if there's an earthquake, they know that they can basically recover. If it's a fire, they can recover. If they're struck by lightning, they can recover. They recognize that they are built to last, that they have durability. Well, so do humans, but we don't accept that. That's why you don't regenerate deep inside. The program is there, but you rebuke it because somebody told you that you couldn't and you believed it. So you shut down the natural capacities to regenerate inside. And so you don't. You accept the skin, you accept your hair, and you accept your nails, but anything deep, you say that's not possible, and then you think that somebody else has to give you an organ or whatever else, et cetera, because you shut down the programs in your misperception of how you've been created to be.